before we get into that, the we do want to mention real quick that as of September the 26th, so roughly about a week after this airs, or a week before this airs, the second bestiary, the plague bestiary, and books three and four in Shami's uh, Frith Chronicles will be released for Kickstarter. So she's not, obviously, <laughs> book's not going out yet. However, it is going open to join in the Kickstarter to get your copy reserved. So just keep that in mind. We are so excited. I know we barely have even gotten the first bestiary out, but you know what? This is amazing. I know she's saying that she's going to focus a lot on the plague ridden bestiary sections. So not just the information of the actual uh, elder in it, but their plague forms, their dread forms. So we'll get a lot more information and we're so excited. And with that, I think we're going to dive into chapter 21, the Trixabel family. The Frith Guild has made their way back to the Isle of Ruma, and as they're going around, Volk kind of realizes how tiny Ruma is. He's gone to a lot bigger cities between his adventures, so really getting a feel for a while. I really came from a small town and did not realize that growing up. <laughs> he forgets that Jose is still a wanted criminal on the island, so he's not used to keeping that in perspective and realizes, oh, I can't just give him a tour around, you know? He's still a wanted man. And Zaxxus very explicitly tells Volk not to do this because he would expect Volk to end up getting them both arrested. I mean, I I actually forgot about that too for a couple minutes. And then Zax is like, don't you dare be thinking about bringing him around. And it's like, but oh yeah. <laughs> the island's got all of like four <laughs> wanted criminals in their history. Like they're not going to forget them. <laughs> He he's one of one of the four posters on their wanted board. <laughs> yes, Addie is very nervous about taking Volk to meet her parents, and it's less about them meeting him, but more the fact that he has a true form, and that's their big goal for her. So it's going to be a lot of you know if he can do it, why can't you? And she's kind of worried about some of that parental pressure coming in. I think that she also kind of mentions that she wants Volk there because of his true form as a show of if Volk can do it, I can do it. So I think it's very much so on same coin, two different sides, you know, like she, she's nervous because he has a true form and how, you know, if he made it, how didn't she, but on the other hand, it's the like, well, but Volk has made true form. So if he could do it, I can do it. It is. It's a lot of back and forth and probably a lot of in the moment, which side of the coin am I on? Mm -hmm. As they're walking around the town, Fane is with them and complaining about the heat. This really isn't a surprise. He's bonded <laughs> to a Wendigo, which are Arctic <laughs> animals. Adele just is listening into everyone's thoughts. And unfortunately, most of those thoughts are about Volk returning. He is one of the other four criminals on the island. And everyone really expects him to be violent or to cause some sort of disruption. As they're walking around, Fane asks where the entertainment is. <laughs> you, you can make your assumptions about what that is. He used to be a pirate. <laughs> um, he does mention they also used to go see like waterfalls and other cool natural elements, but I think he's more looking for a, a tavern, but there are none of those on the island, unfortunately. Where's, where's all the women at? Why is the rum gone? <laughs> but the rum. <laughs> <laughs> we do get a, a nice reintroduction to our favorite schoolmaster, so we'll call out back to the Nightmare Arcanist, and he explicitly calls Volk out and wants him apprehended. I literally almost instantly lost it as soon as he was reintroduced. Like, I don't even know if it was the first full sentence of him being back in the picture and calling Volk out, and I'm just like, no. Not him again. Yes. As it's like an umbrage. It is umbrage. <laughs> <laughs> As they're approaching the mansion, Addie does make a comment about how, being worried that Volk's going to come across uncivilized. He tries to kind of wet his hair down a little bit, but his hair doesn't really work like that. He doesn't have a comb, so he's going his own Harry Potter look as well. <laughs> And as they step into the mansion, the mansion is actually fairly empty. Uh, but the one thing that they do have is in the main rooms, there's 
coffins from Addie's family members. Don't don't you have coffins of your family members chilling in your house? Yeah, but they're not in my main room. I keep all the skeletons in the closets. Oh, that's where they're supposed to go. <laughs> you stand them upright, it fits really well. Okay, they, we can close the door all the way. Got it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we do want to thank everybody for listening today. And just a quick reminder, as far as the bestiary for the Plague Bestiary, books three and four of Shammy Stovall's Frith Chronicles, that is going live to order or to in, to get involved in with the Kickstarter. So don't forget about that. We'll hack, make sure we do get the link down in the description for you guys to get over to that. And as far as any more information goes, I know we have Labyrinth Arcanus is coming out here soon. For those that have been uh, are in the Astra Academy series, I know she said she's working with Ryan Tang about the next and final book in the crown tournament series. She's got a book called six words. I think she said she's going to change the title of, but currently that's the one that we have right now. And I think that's about everything. Eric Scott and I want to thank everyone for listening today. We post a new episode every Wednesday morning at 11 Eastern 10 central and eight Pacific standard time. We are on all podcasting platforms and are also on YouTube as well for video. After the additional episode airs, we post chapter-by-chapter videos every day in a smaller, easier-to-digest format. We do want to give a special shout-out to the final member of our team, Dan Mackison, one of the admins for the Frith Chronicles wiki, link listed below, and doing his best to keep everything running smoothly behind the scenes. If you want to reach out to us, you can email us at frithguildpod at gmail.com or on Facebook or any other social media by searching for Frith Guild Podcast. Just to remind everybody, we have links to everything in the description below on both the podcast and YouTube. Scott, do you have anything else you want to add this week? Second time mark warlock coming in like a month or two as well, so... Oh my gosh, yes. November. Oh my goodness. So many so books. books. I, don't, I don't understand. Like, does she write 23 hours a day? <laughs> it, it makes no sense to me. Well, we love that she does. If she does, hopefully she's taking time for herself, but... And with that, I think we're, we'll see, catch you guys next week.